What's up guys, this is the Nintendo fan, and we are playing some more Luigi's Mansion. When we last left off, well, we explore more of Area 2 of the mansion, mm -hmm. and got the, the ability to use two elements, fire and water. And in this part, something I, something I want to show with the water element. You know those plants we've been seeing throughout the mansion? Oh, we can water them. And we get some money. As you can see right here, we have an emerald. We have five out of ten emeralds already. That's pretty good. Now, yeah, oh yeah, something I should point out about the kitchen. From what I understand, there was actually an unused boscus that was supposed mm -hmm. to be a chef holding a tomato. But it was removed from the ga final game for, game for some reason. Ooh, sapphire and gold bar. Nice. Let's water these. And I'm gonna save here. And since Toad's here. So yeah, and from what I understand, that chef ghost would have rolled a tomato much like the bowling ghost. And speaking of the boss ghosts, apparently they originally had a 50 HP as opposed to the 100 in the final game, from what I understand. And believe it or not, there's actually an unused entity known as L. Is this weird, uh, plasma-looking ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure of what he's supposed to do or what not. There's pretty much very little evidence about L. And is there anything else? Any plants in the conservatory? Nothing. Oh! This image appears. I think this Beethoven-looking guy shows up after uh, defeating Melody. I don't know why I didn't see it earlier, but there's that picture. There's a picture for you, which is weird. Let's see, are there any other plants in, that we saw? I'm trying to think. Oops! Got hit by a bat. Better get my money back. And no, you cannot use the water on the fake doors. Egg. Okay, and after watering all the plants that I found... Ooh, money! You think I took that thing? Uh-oh, careful. Anyway, now that we're done looking for uh, plants... Let's extinguish this flame. And go through the store once uh, the smoke clears up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And we are outside in the boneyard. And we have a ghostly bulldog here. Spooky. Woof, woof, woof. Yep, that's all he says. What you want to do is water his dog bowl. And he'll start to... <laughs> Going after you, biting you. Watch out. Careful. For the love of dirt, make that yapping dog be quiet. And we have the introduction of Mr. Bone, the, the skeleton ghost. And this is actually one of my favorite uh, ghost designs. And by defeating Mr. Bones, that one of his bones appears. Appeasing Spooky. And that's your time to try. Now he can be pretty tough because of how quick he is. But we got him! One suction. Very nice. Now what you want to do... 
What is this being here? You want to do this right now. Let me go ahead and save. Alright, now that I've saved, really quick, I just realized we have one of Mario's dropped items, which is his hat, which we want to show to Madame Clairvoya here. She said if we picked up someone's dropped items, we should show it to her, and we shall. Hmm? What is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. But what, what is this? If it isn't Mario's hat, why it's so clean as if someone just washed it! Sorry, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know. Hmm? Just one moment, did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Hmm? Ah, I see now. Well, I see everything, so I saw it before, but now I really see it. So you are the brother of the famous Mario, and you have come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? Ha ha ha! Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh oh, they come! Now the spirits come! Come, spirits of power! Come, spirits of sight! Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight! Crystal Orb, symbol of my clan! Use your Darkling power to show us all you could! I mean, can! Show us all you can! Show us this Mario! The light of the spirits come! Show us what we seek! Oh, hum, I see that your Mario lives. Well, he is not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. Ha ha ha! Excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, uh, the spirits fall silent. Um, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring to me another clue, and I will show your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. So, uh, we need to show Madame Clairvoya another one of Mario's items. So, let's move, press on, and let's get some heart. Nothing. Actually, I think there's a heart in the foyer. Oh yeah. Or not. All right, so I'm gonna cut to the boneyard. Oh, something I should point out, that if you scan something with the Game Boy Horror while there's a boo inside, you can actually see a text that, a little text with a question mark that says, what's this? That means that there's a boo in one, there could be a boo in one of these, uh, items in the room. Holy shit, pile, dude, pile odd and ends, odds and ends everywhere. Filthy. Okay, you're not kidding, Luigi. But... Now that we're back in the boneyard, let's go into first-person view, and... Luigi's moving backwards by himself! But anyway, what do you want to do is, just like in the butler's room, check the doghouse with the Game Boy Horror. And you get transported to... the graveyard. There we go, we're full on health. Check this grave, and Mr. Bones! Three of them! And I lost a couple of coins. Oh well. Alright. There we go. Let me gr try to grab that heart before it disappears. Got it. Ugh. There we go. I don't think that fire is going to do anything. I thought Luigi was stuck in the tree. Oh, I forgot. You can get a ruby from that pipe. And I, I thought there was something hidden, but let's approach the glowing grave.
Meet the boss of Area 2, the Cemetery Shadow Bogmire. And what he's gonna do is create shadows of himself, and you wanna suck the shadows and fire it at Bogmire, but and suck away. And after some suction, he will create more shadows of himself. Now the bigger the shadow, the more HP you can actually drain from Bogmire himself. And I'm gonna go for this shadow. There we go. Oh wow, I missed! Now these shadows will actually hurt Luigi. So be careful. Now can take this shadow. Success. There we go. Uh oh. Ooh. Almost got hit. And I believe Bogmire himself can hurt hurt you if you touch him. And I like the music here, by the way. And I like Bogmire's design too. I think it looks cool. Alright, where are you? There he is! Ooh, 15 HP! And we're maintaining 100! Things are looking good! I don't think it really matters which uh, shadow size I grab. There he is! Oh wow, I missed! We did it! And it makes this chest appear. So let's open it. And we get the club key. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when the lightning strike struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. Why did, why did you come on back to the lab? What? You think the lightning that damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put him through the old ghost portrificationizer? Yes. Oh, yeah. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible form. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. And we got a gold on Bogmire. Gold on the floating world in us. Gold on Shivers. Gold on Melody. Gold on Mr. Love. And it looks like a gold on Spooky, which looks cool by the way. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into painting. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And this is our result. Looking pretty good with all those golds. Let's check our totals. Six sapphires, five emeralds, four rubies, one silver diamond. All right, things are looking pretty good. And I'm gonna say never mind on saving. Let's 
get to the mansion. Mm -hmm. ah, before I end things off here, there's something I want to do real quick. Remember that plant we watered before Bogmire? Well, now that we've defeated Bogmire, we might want to water it. We might want to check on it. So, let's check the water. There we go. And it looks different. So, we so say we water it again. And it blooms. But we'll have to go back for it later, because it's worth it. Trust me. But, on that note, I'm going to end things off right here. And in the next part of Luigi's Mansion, we're going to go into Area 3. Through the club door. Alright, later guys.